Alexander Ovechkin is a true legend of the game. Only two players in NHL history had scored more goals than Ovi, and he's just 16 goals short of catching Gordie Howe at second place in the all-time scoring league. Of course, Wayne Gretzky is number one, but with Ovechkin just 109 goals short. Many believe that the Russian will be number one before he retires. Whether he reaches Gretzky's goal-scoring number or not, Ovechkin is one of the best players of all time, and throughout the years, he's played with and against some fantastic players. He's been one of the best players in the world for over 15 years, since breaking the 100-point mark in his debut season back in 2005. And after playing in the National Hockey League for so long, Ovi's gathered quite a collection of sticks given to him by opponents. Ovechkin once showed up his stick collection on Russian TV, and it was an impressive one. In today's video, we will be showing you Connor McDavid versus Alex Ovechkin, who wins. Without further ado, let's begin. Connor McDavid and Alex Ovechkin are two of the most electrifying players in the National Hockey League today, and their respective fan bases often engage in passionate debates about which player is better. In this script, we'll take a deep dive into the skills and statistics of both players to determine who would come out on top if the two were to go head-to-head. -head. Let's start with Connor McDavid. The Edmonton Oilers captain was the first overall pick in the 2015 NHL Draft and has quickly established himself as one of the best players in the league. McDavid's speed is his most notable attribute, as he can effortlessly skate past defenders and create scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates. He also possesses exceptional vision and playmaking ability, making him a constant threat on the ice. McDavid has won the Art Ross Trophy as the NHL's leading scorer in each of the past three seasons and has been named to the NHL First All-Star Team three times as well. Choosing from all the sticks and the collection, one stood out for him. He revealed that Connor McDavid refused to give his stick to Ovi, but he later changed his mind. The Russian reporter asked Ovechkin if there was a player whose stick he couldn't get. Yes, several years ago. It was Connor McDavid because they Edmonton didn't allow him to hand over sticks. Ovechkin still tried it and eventually managed to persuade him. Well, Edmonton decided so. But I asked and tried really hard, and they agreed. So now I'm the first to have Mike David's stick. Alex Ovechkin has five goals and nine points in 11 games played this season. Connor McDavid has 11 goals and 22 points in 10 games. Alexander Ovechkin is a true legend of the game. Only two players in NHL history have scored more goals than Ovi, and he's just 16 goals short of catching Gordie Howe at second place in the all-time scoring league. Of course, Wayne Gretzky is number one, but with Ovechkin just 109 goals short, many believe that the Russian will be number one before he retires. Whether he reaches Gretzky's goal-scoring number or not, Ovechkin is one of the best players of all time, and throughout the years, he's played with and against some fantastic players. He's been one of the best players in the world for over 15 years, since breaking the 100-point mark in his debut season back in 2005. And after playing in the NHL for so long, Ovi's gathered quite a collection of sticks given to him by opponents. Ovechkin once showed up his stick collection on Russian TV, and it was an impressive one. On the other hand, Alex Ovechkin is a veteran superstar who has been a force in the NHL for over a decade. The Washington Capitals forward has won the Hart Memorial Trophy as the NHL's most valuable player three times and has been named to the NHL first All-Star team eight times. Ovechkin is known for his lethal shot, which has helped him score an incredible 730 goals over the course of his career. He's also a physical player and has a reputation for delivering bone-crushing hits on his opponents. So, who would win in a matchup between Mike David and Ovechkin? Let's take a closer look at their stats to find out. In terms of career statistics, Ovechkin has the edge over Mike David. As of the end of the 2021-2022 season, Ovechkin had played 1,223 NHL games and had scored 730 goals and 500 and 91 assists for a total of 1,000 
321 points. McDavid, on the other hand, had played 355 NHL games and had scored 185 goals and 384 assists for a total of 569 points. However, it's important to note that McDavid is only 25 years old, while Ovechkin is 36. McDavid has many more years of his career ahead of him and will likely continue to rack up impressive statistics. In terms of head-to-head -head matchups, McDavid and Ovechkin had only faced off against each other a handful of times due to the fact that they play in different conferences. In the four games they played against each other, McDavid has two goals and two assists, while Ovechkin has one goal and one assist. So based on this small sample size, it seems that McDavid has had a slight edge over Ovechkin in their head-to-head -head matchups. In terms of playing style, McDavid's speed and playmaking ability could give him an advantage over Ovechkin's physicality and goal-scoring ability. McDavid's ability to create scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates could be difficult for Ovechkin to defend against. However, Ovechkin's size and strength could make it difficult for McDavid to maintain possession of the puck and create scoring opportunities. In conclusion, it's difficult to definitively say who would come out on top at a matchup between Connor McDavid and Alex Ovechkin. Both players are incredibly talented and have unique skill sets that could make them difficult to defend against. While Ovechkin may have the edge in terms of career statistics, McDavid's youth and speed could give him the advantage in a head-to-head -head matchup. Ultimately, it would likely come down to which player had. In terms of career statistics, Ovechkin has the edge over McDavid. As of the end of the 2021-2022 season, Ovechkin had played 1,223 NHL games and had scored 730 goals and 591 assists for a total of 1,321 points. McDavid, on the other hand, had played 355 NHL games and had scored 185 goals and 384 assists for a total of 569 points. However, it's important to note that McDavid is only 25 years old, while Ovechkin is 36. McDavid has many more years of his career ahead of him and will likely continue to rack up impressive statistics. In terms of head-to-head -head matchups, McDavid and Ovechkin have only faced off against each other a handful of times due to the fact that they play in different conferences. In the four games they played against each other, McDavid has two goals and two assists, while Ovechkin has one goal and one assist. So based on this small sample size, it seems that McDavid has had a slight edge over Ovechkin in their head-to-head -head matchups. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.